Hello my fellow ACADs, this is Liz, I'm an HP Certified Technician and today we're going to be talking about Memory Management Blue Screen Error. Okay, so this blue screen error can be both a software or a hardware issue, or both at the same time. So we're going to test your hardware and then we're going to go into software solutions. As you can see, I hit the power button and I immediately started tapping on F9. Why did I do this? Well, because your HP came in with built-in diagnostic software. It's excellent. Um, sometimes to enter it, instead of hitting F9, you have to hit escape and then F9, just so you're aware. And with some HPs, you can also just tap on F2. But I'm going to use my down arrow key to go down to System Diagnostics. And then I'm going to hit Enter so I can use the diagnostic to check my hardware. Uh, first, we're going to run the memory chat test because with this particular blue screen error, it tends to be a memory problem. So I'm going to select that memory test and hit Enter, and it's going to run it. Now at this point, if your memory test passes, then we're going to move on to the next step in the troubleshooting process. If it fails, then go ahead and skip to minute 410 on how to order new RAM. Okay, so as you can see, it passed. Now, while I'm in here, I'm going to quickly check my hard drive because you know what? It's always a good thing to check. And I hit enter. And if my hard drive also passes, then we're going to go on to the next step in the video. Okay, so both passed. They're both working. In that scenario, we're going to move on to a manual RAM test. This is what your RAM looks like. Because like I said, this is usually a RAM problem. So I'm gonna remove my battery and I'm gonna make sure my laptop's unplugged. And I'm gonna look for an easy access panel as you can see here. If you don't have one, look up a disassembly video for your model of laptop. And I'm gonna use the screwdriver to gain access. Uh, down below we have a link for what screwdriver I'm using in this video if you're, sometimes people ask, they wanna know. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna remove that first stick of RAM. I'm gonna pull outwards on both arms and it usually just pops up really easy. And the reason why I'm doing this is because RAM is like headlights on a car. They tend to go one at a time. So if I take one of the sticks out, I close it back up and then I plug it back in and I hit power and bam, my blue screen error is gone. Then I know I had a bad stick of RAM and I need to replace that. So if you find that to be true, skip to minute 410 and find a, uh, and, and you'll learn how to, uh, excuse me, you'll learn how to order a new RAM stick at minute 410. But if I plug it back in and I turn it on and I still have problems, then we're going to proceed to test the other RAM stick. So I would, once again, unplug it, take out the battery, open it back up. I know it's a whole process. And then I'm going to switch out my RAM sticks. I'm gonna take that other one out and put the other one back in. And once again, if I turn it back on and the issue blue screen error is gone, never, never comes back, then I know that that one RAM stick that's not installed is the issue and I need to replace it. And the reason why we're manually doing this is it is a more effective method for testing your RAM. Um, the diagnostics are seem to be very accurate with hard drives, but they are less accurate with RAM. Uh, I don't know why that is, it's just, it is what it is. So we're gonna try this again. Maybe it will work this time, who knows? Okay, I'm gonna flip it over, turn it on, and see if it still has that blue screen error. Okay, so this is what your RAM stick looks like on how to order one. This is a manufacturer, a data, sometimes we'll say uh, Hynix or Samsung. This is the model number. It will look something like this, PC3L, 12800, or something like that starting usually with PC something. And I've put some common uh, varieties of RAM down in the description so you can look at those. Now software solutions. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to, if this doesn't work, if the last thing didn't work, you would hit power and start tapping on F11. Because we're going to now work through the software problem, we're going to tap on F11 to get to your recovery manager, another feature of your HP you probably didn't know about. And we're going to try to factory reset your computer. 
So we're going to, once you get to this screen, we're going to arrow down to troubleshoot, reset this PC. Now there's two options for a soft reset or a hard reset. The soft reset tends not to work for this problem. So you're going to need to do the remove everything, which I know it's sad. You lose all your information, but uh, we're trying to save a computer here. So sometimes the tough solutions are the ones that work. So if you can't access this or you find the reset doesn't work, it could be, um, oh, sorry. I'm going to pause for a second. You can hit fully clean the drive. That's the one you want. And you'll lose all your information, but it usually works. And uh, like I said, if you can't g get the factory reset to work, or if you cannot uh, access it, it could be that your uh, operating system is too corrupt and you need a fresh install. I have a video down below on that. It skipped the hard drive installation portion and just looked for the fresh install. So that would be your step after the factory reset if it doesn't work or can't be accessed. But we're going to select the fully clean the drive option and select enter. And hopefully, uh, through this troubleshooting method, you'll be a to repair uh, your computer and get out of that loop. If you have any questions, leave them down Thanks below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or some great ideas for some videos, leave them down below and one of our certified technicians will respond as quickly as possible. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.